everyone so today's video is going to be a haul and I have quite a few things to show you guys so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it because I know that this video is gonna be really long so I was able to stop by Mac a few weeks ago and I picked up a few things so the first thing is this foiled eyeshadow and this is in the shade joy toy it's so pretty I love the color so that's how it looks like it's like a really pretty peachy bronze color I also picked up this iridescent pressed powder in the shade Sparkling Rose, and this is what I have on as my highlight right now. I think it's a pretty subtle color. It's a really soft pink, so that's how it comes off on my finger. It really is an iridescent finish. Like, you almost can't see it because it doesn't have big glitter chunks. Next, I just got Spice Lip Glass. Since I had a few things to recycle, I decided to grab this. So that's a swatch of it right there. Next up are some Makeup Forever concealers, and I just got these in the mail yesterday. Shout out to Makeup Forever for sending me these. I am wearing two concealers under my eyes. They came out with five color correcting concealers, and then five regular concealers, and I just love the finish of these. They're not too thick or too heavy and not too sticky. I believe the Y shades are the concealers, and then the R shades are the correcting concealers. This one is R30, Y33, Y31, which is what I have on right now. R32, Y23, R22, R40, Y41, Y21, and R20. And next up, I got a few things from Benefit, and I'm so excited because Benefit has such cute packaging. Like, look at these. How cute are these? These have lashes on them. It's so cute. I love these. And look at this cute little keychain. I love it. It says Benefit and Professional. I got two cute little baggies, and the first one says Shine Free Squad Goals, and on the back it says Laughter is the Best Cosmetic. I got the Professional Shine Vanishing Pro Powder, and this is what I use to set my face, including my under eye, and I love the finish of it. It's really lightweight and easy to apply. This, what you do is you take off the lid, so you twist this to get product, and then you dab it in here. Then you take the brush, which is on the other end, and you dip it in, and then you apply it. Next up is the new Professional Matte Rescue, and... Again, I just love the packaging. How cute is this? This is mattifying, poor blurring, and an invisible finish. And what's really cool about this is it is a gel. I did use this today underneath my foundation, and I really like the way it made my skin feel. I like to use gel moisturizers. So using a gel primer, I felt like it hydrated my skin, but also made it really matte. And it wasn't drying matte. I also got the original professional. Next up are the new instant wipeout mask and these are really cool. Like I'm not sure how it works. I want to try it out but it says that um, you press firmly on the plastic bubble and then it will completely release pore serum and fully saturate the mask. In the other bag it says turn your mascara into yascara. I love that. I got three mascaras and this is the original Their Real Mascara. And then the roller lash, which I used today. And I actually kind of like it. I'm not a fan of mascara at all. And the last thing from Benefit is the Their Real Tinted Eyelash Primer. I decided to use these two together. It actually makes my eye bottom eyelashes appear. Like, there's not that much, but you can definitely tell there's like something little there. The next two products are from Pixi. This is the Glow Mud Cleanser and the Glow Mud Mask with ginseng and sea salt. Next up, I finally got my hands on this Becca palette, and this has three highlighters. I also picked up this face illuminator powder in the shade Indiscretion, and I believe this is a Sephora exclusive. I just love that texture. These two remind me so much of each other. It's a really soft and subtle glow. It's right there. Next up, I got a few more things from Urban Decay. First up is the Gwen Stefani palette, and I was so excited to receive this because I have been dying to try this out. This is what I have on my eyes right now. I really love how pigmented the colors are. So this is how it looks like. And the shimmer colors are super pigmented. They almost remind me of Makeup Geek's foiled eyeshadows because they're so pigmented and almost metallic. Next, I got another Naked Skin Concealer, and this is in the shade Light Warm. I also got the Mattifying Powder, and this stuff is amazing. It seriously keeps my skin so matte. Next is the Urban Decay Brightening and Tightening Complexion Primer Potion. I have always wanted to try their face primers. I remember I was so excited when they first launched like like many years ago but I never tried it and last but not least I finally got my hands on the naked smoky palette I love this packaging so much and this is how the palette looks like it comes with eight shimmers and four matte colors which I really like usually the naked palettes don't have that many matte eyeshadows 
I got two highlighters from Anastasia and this is in So Hollywood and Starlight. I got this really cute travel size of Purity. I ran out of Purity a few months ago and I never replaced it because I've been trying so many new things. But I bought the little travel size and since I'm going to LA this was great for traveling. I'm just so excited to finally try out these products. First up is the Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. I really like the texture of it. It's like a mousse looking feel. Next is the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. I believe this is a powder. Yes, this one is a powder. I finally got the Swirl Power Cheek Brush. I'm not going to mess up my contour, but I feel like it'll be perfect. I got two of the Lip Surgeon's Matte Lip Tint in the shades Bare and Hope. And I got the Lip Surgeon's Power Pigment in the shade Flush. Next is the Maracuja Air Blush in the shade Shimmering Poppy. This looks a lot darker than online. This color looks really intense. It feels like um, ColourPop products. It's like a shadow, but it's a cream, but not really a cream. Oh, it's really subtle, actually. I thought it was going to be, like, popping, but no, it's super subtle. I think that would be a really pretty color. I'm really glad that I got this. Next is the Smolder Eyes Amazonian Clay Waterproof Eyeliner. And this is in the shade Gunmetal. Ooh, this is really smooth. So that's how that looks like right there. Next is the Gifted Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. I love the packaging. It's like bamboo. So this mascara looks really nice. I probably shouldn't open it because I'm not going to use it yet. Now I feel obligated to use it because I opened it. And then the last product is from the Holiday line, I believe. And this is the Tight Lining Trio Eyeliner Set. It comes with Slate, Midnight Plum, and Copper. Alright, so that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's something in particular that you would like me to talk more in depth about or review. And I will talk to you all later. Bye!